Well, 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 look what I have here. Some of you might already know which carry satchel this is for a mask. And ooh. An Avon filter that has expired, but actually uh, only expired. You see, you notice here that this is a CBRN filter, but it says ABEC P3, which I've pretty much said to everybody anyway. ABEC P3 is what you want to do if you want to have the equivalent of a CBRN NBC filter. Anyway, it expired in 2014-08, so it's not been expired very long. It's still perfectly sealed, and it doesn't rattle. So this is going to definitely go in my cupboard of filters that have expired, but are probably completely useful. So it's not going to get opened for this video. But obviously the main star of the show is this guy. He is um, an Avon FM12. So obviously you know the CT12 is one of my favourite masks. This is the version with the drinking tube and I've managed to find a second hand but new one basically. Um, so there you go, there's your mask. It looks very very fancy. So it says Avon CBRN FM12 there. So chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear FM12. Uh, one thing that surprised me is I thought this would unscrew, but apparently that's just the CT12 that unscrews. And the mask is dated 2005, so it would be 2025 before the shelf life is technically out on it. Uh, 2015 if you consider um, a 10 year sort of thing, but it should be fine. Size 2, which is the size that fits me quite well. And um, intake port there, 40mm NATO filters. Normal skull cap, kind of really comfortable head harness. I really like these fabric ones. Obviously, you can see there, there's the drinking tube inside. I'm not going to be using the drinking tube. And there's your sort of vision area. So, I'm going to pretty much just get this mask straight on and test it with uh, one of my old filters that I know works. Um, but yeah, so 2005 dated FM12 fits me. Got it for 35 quid, that's including the postage with the filter and everything. There's a couple of other accessories I put in the side there, they're just kind of like a weird strap adjuster thing and a um, drinking tube connector. But regardless, let's actually test the mask out. Alright, I'm going to first test this filter and assume it still works. It is a Birmingham and Leyland rubber, uh, Leyland particulate and vapour D10 canister. I mentioned this to Jacob Dagger the other day because it looks a bit like um, the Canadian filters he was on about, the really good Canadian-American sort of C2, C3 filters. Um, so I'm just going to screw that on there. And there we go. That's the filter into the mask. So without further ado, I'm going to put this on and I'm going to test it. Right, so there you go filters on. I think I've got an airtight seal, but we'll test it. The inside of the rubber of the mask does smell a bit weird. But I guess that's because it's been stored fairly well. Again, I'm not smelling any of that air freshness. I guess this old filter still works. I did give it a shake and there was no clumping noises. So obviously I've talked a lot about the Avon CT12 before because I really like this ma that mask, but this is the Avon FM12, the original one. So people begin, it looks like an S10. Now, as I've explained before with the CT12, this mask was basically looks the successor to the S10. Um, it was the mask they originally wanted to get the British Army to buy. They basically said, we can keep making you S10s, we can do, give you the improved version, so we the improved version of the S10, the FM12. It's everything you know and like about the S10, just slightly improved. For example, it sits closer to your face, so you get a better field of vision with smaller eyepieces, because you can literally see left and right better. Um, this bit here is smaller. In general, the entire mask is lighter weight. There's that nice fabric skull cap kind of head strap thing which is um, a really nice harness, very comfortable to wear. You know, easy to adjust elasticated straps. But the British government said, well, no, we don't want to go with either the S10 or the FM12. Um, or your M50 or C50, we don't want to go with any of those new practical masks. And then Scott comes along and says, hey, we've got a mask that's just like the Avon M50. We can call it the general service respirator tea for you, and, um, you know, maybe some money went back and forth. I don't know, I can't, you know, 
I'm not saying that did happen, obviously. I can't prove any of that happened, but Britain went for the worst mask out of the lot for the options, and it's not, as far as I know, domestically produced, although Scott do do some stuff in Britain. So that's not me trying to insult Scott, it's me saying that Scott's probably had a very clever way of doing business and um, damaging British... <laughs> But, um, Avon, anyway, Avon uh, made this mask and sold it to some other countries. This mask was very popular with the people who used it for obvious reasons. It's got your drinking tube, it's got a semi-voice diaphragm. I'll try and explain what I mean by that, it's like a pseudo-voice diaphragm. When you think of voice diaphragm, you think of like the membrane kind of plastic thing that vibrates or metal that vibrates. What this mask has is it has like a really small little XL valve thing here that acts as a voice diaphragm. But what it mainly has on the front under this plastic cover, I'll see if there's an easy way of getting this plastic cover off because you can take them off on the S10. And what this plastic cover has underneath it, if I can find a way of getting it off in the video, which I'm probably not going to be able to do. Right, yeah, forget about that, I'm going to damage the mask. But there's kind of like a trumpet thing here where. You have your XL valve and then the plastic widens and it's just designed to amplify it. And I think it works fairly well for what it is. It's not a you know, full-on voice diaphragm, but it's a pseudo-voice diaphragm. I don't think you ever have any issue understanding people with the Avon masks on. But anyway, Avon sort of won in the end over Scott because it turns out the United States wanted to buy um, Avon's M50 for a lot of their guys there. And um, the SAS actually, uh, the SAS actually said, you know, fuck the, um, fuck the GSR. We want to use the CT12. So that's what they did. They said, you know, we'd rather use a mask like this. It's the CT12 is the one where obviously I've shown you before. I really like no drinking system, which makes the mask a little bit lighter, and you can swap the filters on either side or have dual filters. So it's sort of an ambidextrous mask. But yeah. The FM12, it's just as comfortable as the CT12. I actually like on this that the drinking tube, when you turn the lever, is completely out of the way, unlike the S10, until you cut it really short. Um, it still doesn't go into your mouth very well, so it's probably one that if I wanted to adapt it as a drinking tube, I'd cut it, but I'm probably not going to do that. I'm probably going to leave this mask as is. as a really good mask. Um, so obviously, if you wanted to use a drinking tube system, you'd unravel that from there. You'd connect that to your bottle cap with all the adapters, and then you hold your bottle up vertically above you to, um, you know, let gravity pull the water through. So that's how the um, drinking tube system works on this mask, if I've done that the right way around. Hopefully I have. There we go. So, that, yeah, so that's how the drinking tube system works. It just folds around here, which is quite practical. It's not on those masks where you have to totally tuck it in somehow and it's not very easy to get in. Same as the S10, really, but I think it's slightly improved. But, yeah, for those of you who don't know, the Avon FM12 is basically a slightly improved S10. And I like the S10, and I like this more. So there you go. That's this mask. It works as you'd expect really well. I'm glad I managed to get it for about 35 quid. Let me break the airtight seal and check it worked. Yep, it's working. That's another thing I like with this mask. It's one of those ones, I think, because Avon designed the mask for sort of Anglo faces. Um, but the mask actually, you know, properly sits on my face rather than being one of those masks that, um... So, oh, I don't know really how to describe it, but some of the gas masks that have really poor face seals because how the mask sort of face bit sits against you. This is one of the ones where it kind of seems to suction cup to your face a bit, once you've done the straps up tight enough. But not so tight it's uncomfortable to wear. So, there you go, the Avon um, FM12. Yes, it is a great mask, as you'd expect me to say. And this old D10 canister is still working very, very well from 1980-odd when my S6 is from.